Let's look at some further examples of combining like terms. In this case, all the terms have a w, but you'll notice that this term and in this term, the w is cubed, where in this term, it's just a w by itself. So to combine the 9w cubed minus 1w cubed is going to leave us with 8w cubed. And the 4w cannot be combined with the 8w cubed since their variable parts are not the same. To combine like terms in a problem that has parentheses, we need to use the distributive property first. Distributing the 2 onto the 8f and onto the negative 1. So this problem is going to become 16f minus 2 minus 4f plus 7. I have two f terms, and 16 minus 4 leaves me with 12f, and two constant terms, a negative 2 and a positive 7, which will leave me with a total of a positive 5. In the next problem, we need to do the distributive property twice, distributing the 5 onto the 3n and the 2, and then distributing the negative sign onto the 4n and the 8. So this will leave us with 13n plus 10. Then minus a negative 4n is going to give us a plus a 4n. And that negative times the 8 will make that minus 8. So those terms didn't change other than having their signs reverse. To combine terms that are alike, the 13n and 14 and 4n I'm sorry, will give us a total of 17n. And combining the constants, positive 10, negative 8, leaves with a, with a final positive 2. This last one will get a little trickier. Distributing a fraction over an expression. So I'm probably going to write this one out with a few more steps. The first part is 1 fourth times 6, and I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 under the 6 there, minus 1 fourth times 5 ones, plus 2 thirds times 3 ones, plus 2 thirds times 9 ones. Now I can go through and deal with the fractions. With the 6 and the 4, both of those can be reduced by 2, leaving me with 3 halves. Here, there aren't any common factors to factor out, so I'm just going to have a negative 5 fourths t. Here I can lose a pair of 3's, so I'm back to 2t. And here I can also lose a pair of 3's leaving me with 6. Now I still need to combine my like terms. So I have a positive constant, 3 halves, and a positive 6. Well, since 3 halves is also 1 and 1 half, writing it as a mixed number lets me add the 6 more easily, giving me a final answer on the constants of 7 and 1 half. Then for the terms with t's, I'm going to change to a common denominator of 4. So I'll end up with a negative 5 fourths plus 8 fourths t. If you see here, I undistributed the t from those two terms. So this 2 is now represented as 8 fourths. The negative 5 fourths is still negative 5 fourths. That's going to give me the result, negative 5 plus 8 gives me a positive 3 fourths, and the t is still there.